What are these? These are reciprocal ratios. These are three more of these that are upside down. The reciprocal ratios are cosecant, which is CSC theta. And what CSC theta is, it's simply 1 over sine theta. And we also have secant theta, SEC theta, sec theta, which is 1 over cos theta. And then we also have cotangent theta. Cotangent is just cot theta. And that is 1 over tan theta. Okay, so for each of these three up here, there is a corresponding reciprocal ratio. It's just you take that and you turn it upside down. And you get these three new ones. So that is for your notes. That is what these three reciprocal ratios are. Let's actually evaluate them for theta. So cosec theta. Cosec theta is 1 over sine. So where's sine theta? Sine theta is 3 over 7. So what's the reciprocal of that? That is 7 over 3. Pretty easy. Sec theta is, so where's sec theta? It's the cosine theta upside down. So what's this upside down? 7 over 2 root 10. Okay, but now we are breaking the golden rule. We've got to get rid of that radical 10 on the denominator again. Let's multiply by root 10 over root 10, which will give us 7 root 10 on top. And on the bottom, 2 times root 10 times root 10. So root 10 times root 10 is 10 times 2 is 20. And we get 7 root 10 over 20 for sec theta. And what about cot theta? Cot theta is, okay, cot theta is 1 over tan theta. Here is tan theta. So it's this upside down, okay, which is, oh, that's annoying. We're going to get another radical on the bottom. But wait, stop. What was it before we did that? Okay, remember our first answer for tan theta was this? If we just turn this upside down, then we don't have to deal with that breaking of the golden rule. It's going to be 2 root 10 over 3. Okay, so just be mindful of that little trick. Anything you have to do that trick to to get rid of a radical in the bottom, uh, just look at what it was before you had to do the trick and you've got it right there, okay?